In my 24 hours later video, I mentioned that one of the things that was kind of bugging me about the Pixel 9 Pro Fold is the fact that it is, like a lot of phones these days, almost all of them, it is a particularly tall phone, and that makes it difficult for me to reach the top of the screen without shifting my grip. And I also complained that for whatever reason, Google had not saw fit to include their one-handed mode. Most every phone these days, which is too tall, gives you the ability to do a down swipe on the screen and everything will shift down and you can then do what you need. You can reach the rest of the screen. For some reason, they did not do that with the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, but today I'm going to show you an application that's been around for a while and I'd used it in the past, but with, you know, everybody giving you a built-in one-handed mode, I had stopped using it. Well, it's back for the Pixel 9 Pro Fold and it's gonna make your life, potentially, if you're like me, a lot easier. All right, guys, so jump into the Google Play Store and search for Quick Cursor One-Handed Mode. You can see just searching One-Handed Mode got me there as well, and this is the application. What I'm gonna do very quickly is I'm actually going to clear storage on mine so that you can see the entire setup process. Let's open it up and go from there. So let's go ahead and accept. And it's going to take you through a tutorial that is very, very straightforward. You need to give this application accessibility access. So what you're going to see here is quick cursor and just turn that on, allow, and then hit your little check mark. And you're pretty much good to go at that point. But we do need to potentially customize a couple of things. So these swipe zones are probably the biggest thing you're going to want to customize. By default, the swipe zone is right down here. And I'm just going to quickly show you what this application does. Normally, a swipe from the side is back, but if you swipe in that swipe zone, you're going to get this cursor, and you can drag that cursor up and do whatever you need to do with it. Now, like I said, that zone might not be in the right place for you, so use this bar here to move it down. I put it all the way down at the bottom, and from there, that's really all I needed to do to make this thing work. So here we are in threads, and let's say that I want to click on that thing up there. I can simply swipe in, there's my cursor, and I can now click on it. I can come over here and change this to following, like, whatever I need to do. It's all right there, easily accessible on the screen now. And because I put the thing down fairly low, I can just swipe above that. Naturally, where my thumb wants to go is here. So this is out of the way enough for me to be able to grab a hold of that cursor and not really get in the way of anything else. And so because of that, you do have access to the top of the screen. I do want to show you what happens if you come all the way to the top, it's going to go ahead and give you a, a pull down of your notification shade. That way you could just see what you've got coming without having to reach up to the very top. Of course, on your launcher, you can just swipe down anywhere, but if you're inside an application, you can now come up here and grab your notification shade inside that application as well. Now, I find this less of a thing I need when I have the device open because when it's open, I'm probably using it with two hands. And if I'm using it with two hands, it's easy enough for me to just sort of reach wherever I need to reach. But you can still absolutely use this on the tablet screen. And as you can see here, I can reach every part of the top of that screen just like that. No problem at all. So again, it is usable on the inside tablet screen and you might find it, I don't know, maybe you've got some sort of a grip on the back. Maybe you're, you've got a MagSafe case and you've got one of these grips on it or something and you one hand that device. If you do, maybe use it on the inside screen as well. Real quickly, before I actually finished putting this video together, I came across this thread or this post on Reddit from Jim Buck Fu, I think would be how you pronounce that. And they were suggesting this exact application inside the Pixel Fold subreddit. So credit where credit is due. Jim, you beat me to it. So uh, thanks for kind of sharing this into the Pixel Fold community. I'll link to this post down below so you can go give this an upvote. How does it only have one upvote? This is a great suggestion. So thanks again to Jim. Uh, yeah. So guys, there you go. One of my favorite things about Android is even when something doesn't work great for you out of the box, there is almost always an application available to fix that problem for you. And for the one-handed mode absence, inexplicably on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, this application does the trick for me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.